This video is sponsored by Raycon. We got little Avery with us today. She kind of looks like she's on Little House of the Prairie. We got Daddy Donner dancing tonight, don't we, Avery? How are we dancing? Daddy Donner dance tonight. This is it. How are you dancing? How are we dancing? This is my moment to embarrass in front of your friends. Daddy, everybody's gonna think that's a little weird. Yeah, everybody's gonna think it's a little weird, but I'm out there just getting it. Like this? No, 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 you're gonna be, this is me. <laughs> I know it goes all the way out. So I decided to get one of these. You guys know last year I had a fifth wheel. So fifth wheel, cool and all, but I gotta bring two trucks everywhere I go. I literally have to have, Charles the camera guy's gotta drive my truck and boat, and I gotta drive a fifth wheel. And I have two trucks, insurance and everything is really expensive. So, I got this. I've been working on this thing, by the way, how long, about three months, Charles? Yep. To get one, to find one, to set the truck up right, and to find the truck, took me about three months. Biden's got everything kind of funky, or the whole world economy is kind of funky. Finding an F450 for one was extremely difficult, and then I had to put airbags on it, and you have to, it's a ton of stuff. This thing weighs, I think it's like 4,000 pounds. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but it's 4,000 pounds right here. It's not 4,000 pounds spread out over a trailer. It's literally sitting on the back end, and you know this thing is back there. Are we gonna go inside the camper? We lunch? will, I promise, I promise. I gotta find something. Well, good, I got it. So I wanted this because Avery, she loved the fifth wheel. She wants to go camping and stuff. It just made life a lot easier. Oddly enough, this thing was a little bit more expensive than a fifth wheel, but turn it on. Left side, right side. It's kind of cool, ain't it? Do I need to put the legs down, you think? Probably not just to send them out. Look at that, that's cool, all right. This is the largest one you can buy in the world. It has two slide outs, and you do not want to put this thing on a 3500 because if you guys look down here, so I actually had it built, or I say built, it's not it's not built, but I, I had it installed, an extension hitch. So when I'm driving, now I can take this one rig you're about to see the inside of, and I can pull my boat. So now when I want to go to New York, or I want to go to Michigan, or Wisconsin, or anything up there, I don't have to pull two trucks and a fifth wheel. It's just so expensive. Granted, gas is a little high right now. It's going to be expensive. I can take this one rig, and I can pull over on the side of the road, and I can sleep. I have one rig. This it makes me feel so much better. So, I mean, it is pretty big. It is the biggest one you can buy. Um, and I mainly did it because when I go out, I'm gonna be gone for like a week. And I have myself, my camera guy, Charles, and then Cammy will be with me. And then of course, Avery likes to go. And we can use it for hunting excursions. Hell yeah. Elk hunting? Yes. I don't have to be hooked up to water. I'll be running on lithiums and then I'll have water tanks in here. So and I there's can, a generator too. And there's a dang jet, which we haven't showed them now. We'll show them here in a second. So here we go. All right, so how are you guys thinking about it? It is big, ain't it? Do you like it? Are you a big fan of it? You want to camp in here? I want to camp in here. All right, so there's a freezer, but this is where Avery's bed is. And I don't exactly entirely know how it works. Yeah, yeah, here's Avery's bed. So fold all the way down. There's a little mattress, which I have underneath here. All the little squishy pieces. Which, oh, so there's where Avery will sleep is right there. Here, let me put it back. Very cool. My bed, nobody That's, else's. Nobody else's. Nobody's going to want that one. This looks like it does something to this one. Yeah, this turns into a bed right here as well. So there's a full bed. So when we're on like the road, I'm gonna be gone for a week. This turns into a bed. Those actually recline. Leg pops up. Mm -hmm. I haven't tested any of this out, so this is the first time doing any of this. So we got these. Uh, there's actually USB ports down there. Wow, there's a lot of charging in here. So as you guys do know, this video was sponsored by Raycon. I've been with Raycon for multiple years now. You guys love the products and so do I. I use them every single day. So Raycon's earbuds feel, look, and sound better than ever. I'm telling you guys right now, you get eight hours of playtime inside of these earbuds, these right here. And then you get 32 hours of rechargeable battery inside this little pack, this magnetic case right here. Multiple different colors. You guys can check them out. They'll be linked to the very top of the description. Or you can go to buyraycon.com forward slash Lunkers TV to save 15%. I love these things. They do not fall out of my ears. They sit in there snug, tight. Oh, it's the most amazing feeling ever because when I'm on my little, my little five mile jogs, ooh, 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 they don't fall out. So inside of your case, you guys we get these little gel tips right here. See these? Everybody's ear hole is different. And mine already fit for mine. I probably should take them out because I'm probably yelling. But I'm telling you guys right now, these things are great just for that, for that reason right there. They're the first ones to do it. And I love the fact that this little cushiony gel tip fits snug inside of my ear and every single ear hole is different. And that's why they send you guys these to change it out. So it is literally customizable for your hole. That thing you have on the side of your head that you can hear things out of. 
Raycons are priced just right. You get quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. It's no wonder Raycons everyday earbuds have over 48,000 five star reviews. So if you're ever wondering how snug these things are in my ear, well, I'm about to show you. They're in my ear still. I'm too old for that. These son of a guns stayed in. So make sure you go check them out. Go to buyraycon.com forward slash longest TV to save 50% and it'll be linked in the very top description. Thank you so much to Raycon for sponsoring this video. And what is that? What's that? This is a fan. So when Cammy's cooking, it doesn't leave all that nasty smell in here. So here's this. This is pretty neat. So. There you go, probably need to lock it, huh, Avery? Now it's all locked. Can Holy you imagine you're like cooking, you just set something down on there? <laughs> so the best part about this thing, I'm gonna tell you. Guys, guys, I got a, I got a clue. Guys, I she got a clue. Look up here, you guys have steps. This so, is a lot bigger than I thought. You know what's crazy, so you guys know Avery's been on camera her entire life, six years, almost seven years now. She knows what cameras. She knows when that camera turns on. She reminds me of Jared Outlaw. Camera's on, but each one of these things, lock. Pretty solid lock. I like that. Full blown. Daddy, I'm scared about that little beeping. She's talking about the fire, uh, fire alarm. But look, fans, Daddy. lights. <laughs> I know, give me one second. Got these. Look, full blown everything. Cammy, I think it's great. I love it. I don't know what this is. Oh, shit. So this, this is like I'm telling you, so this one was actually built to be able to go off grid. So it has a generator outside and it runs on propane. There's two 30 gallon tanks on the outside of here, which runs everything in here. Yeah, the heater works really well in here. It was on when me and Charles went and picked it up. So it has heaters and then the uh, the hot water for the, the shower still works. Like it has- I have a clue in here. You have a clue. All right, we want to know what the clue is. Come on. Charles, go see what the clue is. Come in here. It's in here. It's right there and I don't know what that is. What is it? I don't know either, I can't see. It's like there. a shallow, like, space. So a it's little... a compartment. It's probably, I don't know what it is. Is there a TV on this side? No. No way. Yeah, look. And you can get on the roof, too. Okay. You can literally... Oh, this is awesome. Oh, wow, this is nice. <laughs> it's like cool out. Hey, we you want to see? We need to figure out how this TV oh, thing God. works. This TV has to move, right? There's no way that it wouldn't move, right? There's solar panels, which is kind of a big deal. Uh, I'm not promoting this, this company, by the way. I have no idea if this unit is very good i have really no idea i bought it myself so i'm not promoting the company so don't think i'm like out here like oh my god you need to buy one of these like six months from now i could tell you yeah this thing's garbage like the last one i had the ceiling fan fell off on a drive so i mean this thing could be complete junk i have no idea we'll know six months from now if it is or not but i thought it'd be a good thing to have i mean it's got a full bath to a certain extent it's a full rv bath that's the best way to put it you want to come in here charles look come here i'll stand in here you can get in here you can be butt naked you can be doing the doing the tango i guess you're not going to bring your your significant other in here and just get after it but i mean you're just going to sit here and just like shower i, I see why they did all this because it was made to go off grid and that's probably pretty smart to put that there so it doesn't uh, one of these fans i mean it's pretty cool i kind of like it storage space they did a good job in here fridge if it says mode on there, I'm gonna say assume that it's it's gonna be propane and or AC like power driven. So like the guy told me this thing, the, a lot of people that go out and they buy one of these that doesn't have slides or might have one slide on it. And then they come back and they get this one because this one was literally built to go off grid and be able to actually power itself, which is a big deal because I love elk hunting. Last year I took a, a year off. This year I will not be taking a year off. We'll be doing two weeks for sure deep. And this is a lot better I mean, think about it. After a long day of getting your teeth kicked in and not killing any elk, you come back here, you're like, you know what? Life's not that bad. I'm gonna hang out and do something. I don't know what's in here. Oh, that's the extension for the, you know how you were doing a pull up yep. the other day? Yeah. I gotta show you some stuff outside, but in here, I don't know, like, what's this? Oh. Just more counter space? Oh, Cammy, look, this thing is cool. It turns into more counter space. That's pretty neat. It's actually glass. Uh, oh. Uh, here we go. Well, it was a pretty. Cool. I didn't see all the way. Oh up there. yeah, you gotta go. Out there. It's got up a there. whole skylight, and then it, it opens up all the way, so you can go out there, like a little convertible. Oh my God, I haven't been up in here. This is kind of strange. Whole closet situation is kind of weird. So right here, there's a, a mount for a TV. I'm probably going to get a smaller TV and just kind of stick it there, because I see they already have it set up. But this is pretty nice. 
I like this. This makes me happy. I think we could do pretty well in this. And we got a skylight here. Apparently it opens all the way up. There's one over there. There's your everyday carry place over there. I'm actually sitting above the driver in the back seat of the truck right now. They did a pretty good job with this. Oh my gosh. It's, it's big, crazy. Right? It's so much bigger than I thought. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... Oh, okay. That's where the light's at. Good job. You found something. I didn't even know it was there. So I haven't got your clue. I, I see where you're going with this. Oh, all right. So now we know where the lights are. All right, cool. All right, you guys can chill in here, but me and Charles are gonna head outside. I want. I gotta go order some Chick Fil A. Oh yeah, I want some Chick Fil A, Avery. It's cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy it's, that you're in the bed of a truck. Like, I'm in the bed of a truck. The amount of money you save as well on fuel and for having two trucks, but then hotels. I, I really don't enjoy staying in Airbnbs. I don't enjoy it, because every single one of them is different. Sometimes the equipment inside there kind of sucks. They kind of like catfish you a little bit on like the quality of what's really inside of them. And this, get to have everything. And I do a podcast pretty much every single day, and it's kind of a big deal right now for me to maintain it. So this was, this was make it to where I can actually have all my equipment with me at all times. I know the Zaldanes, I've been talking to them. They've been, they've been working on having a, an internet type thing set up inside of one of the, in theirs, their camper. I haven't shown you guys everything. It's pretty wild. Let me, let me put this up. I'm not gonna figure this shit out. So if you ever buy one of these, or you ever wanna buy one, you need an F450. For this model, this is an 1172, it's super heavy. You don't come on this side. I think it actually says what it is. This thing weighs 5,000 pounds with everything inside of it. You gotta, you gotta realize there's a big difference between like payload and like just towing capacity. Huge difference, a lot of people don't understand that. Payload is sitting, imagine you put all the weight on the bed of the truck. So a 3,500 Chevy, Dodge, and Ford are all gonna be different. 3,500 Chevy could not take this. 100% would not work. 3500 uh, Dodge, I believe it's pushing like the payload capacity. And then a 3500 Ford, which I do have, it's it's a no-go. So F450 is it. We put the extension hitch on there, I told you guys for my boat. I mean, if you wanna see, you wanna see how big this thing is, huge. It's really heavy. There is the bumper of my truck. It's three foot long, four foot long or so, three foot. So we got generator right here. It's a Cummins generator and it runs on LP. So it runs on propane, which is pretty nice. These guys handed me keys. What do I do with them? I got a tailgate back here I gotta take out for God's sakes. I forgot about the tailgate, huh? Yeah. Alright, okay, so this is that's just storage. Okay, that's storage. Storage. I know this is goofy. I'm going through this with you guys at the same time and I don't even know it's what which one's which. Oh, okay. Okay, so I know where that's at. This is your water connection, so when you're hooked up to you know, campsite type stuff. Storage. A lot of just storage. I'm looking for the battery compartment. This thing. I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, 230 gallons. Where in the f*** are the batteries at? I am probably one of the most important pieces of this thing is the fact that I had to make a phone call, but this little tiny switch disconnects all the batteries. If you guys probably don't want to be like me, I just kind of roll with things. I didn't really take the entire walkthrough apparently, but it does have uh, these awnings on the outside of it. They do come all the way down. They have wind sensors on them, so they actually retract. I don't really trust them to be honest with you, so I'm just gonna probably not leave them because I don't want to have to pay for it. The other thing is these jacks come down, so this thing will literally sit by itself and then you can pull the truck out from underneath it. So when we're, we stop at a campsite or anywhere, the truck will actually become mobile. The only thing I'll have to do is probably remove that rear hitch because if I don't, then it'll have like this much sticking off the back. Some stuff you have to take and keep in mind. You have to add these, these little stabilizer things. It, it just takes a little bit longer to get one of those things set up. And this truck, it was built clearly for this, this whole reason. So if you guys go to buy something like this, plan to spend about a month waiting to get your truck prepped for your camper. It takes quite a bit of time, but it's pretty much that. I'm excited about it. You guys know this truck. I've got another one on order so I can swap them out, which now I'm realizing I probably don't want to do because it just takes so long and too much of a tedious tag. I was going to wrap this thing, but it cost like 11 or 12 grand. <laughs> Did I tell you that? No. Yeah. Holy I thought it was cost five or so so we're gonna put something cool on the side of it but the guy told me it's gonna cost 11 or 12 and i was like oh no 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 no, that's not worth it so i'm gonna roll around with a black and white deal don't fucking care do love you guys thanks for hanging out with me make sure to check out the sponsor of this video will be linked in the top description other than that i'm ready i'm excited we got the one of the world's largest campers you could possibly put in the back of a truck and i'm ready to make some video for you guys i'm out see you guys
get it. Oh, 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 oh,